Hey beautiful people, how are you guys? How have you been? It's been so long. No, just kidding. But um, if you couldn't tell from the title, I wanted to do a bronzy summer look. And this is what I came up with. I mean, the eyes are a little dark, but um, this highlight will light up your life. So if you're interested to figure out what this highlight is or what I, or what, <sighs> products I used on my eyes or anything like that like these lashes just keep watching so to start off this tutorial I'm going to be telling you what my skin type is my skin type is oily to combination um I get oily like all right here so yeah so to hydrate my skin just because it's summer you want like that dewy look um, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm just going to be spraying this lightly all over my face. Probably not lightly, okay. But, um, <laughs> so I'm just going to wait for this. And then I'm also going to put on the Becca Backlight Filter primer on the tops of my cheeks just because that's where I want it to be most luminous um I love this stuff I didn't get it until my mom showed me it and I didn't realize how much I would love it so yeah we're just gonna rub this in and we're also just gonna put it on sorry my mom got a new um trash can so like she's very excited about it but um we're just gonna rub this on the cheeks and uh, we're yeah. also gonna put liquid highlighter just because i want to be extra you know extra luminous so we're gonna be using the tempo and boxycharm liquid glow um collab and i'm just gonna be putting this again on the tops of my cheeks i used to put it on my forehead but um i noticed that it just it gets me a little too oily or I look a little more greasy than glowy by the end of the night or day or wherever I am. And so I just decide not to use it um, on my forehead anymore. So yeah, um, now we will be going in with a new foundation, which this is the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation and I'm in shade medium sand. This is actually my perfect shade. I swatched it already. So, if you're my skin color, this should be good. So, let's just see. Okay, so right off the bat, this is really creamy. I don't know how much to apply. Um, I'm just going to do one side of my face first. Just, just because. Um, I'm going to be using a, no, actually... On this side of the face, I'll do a brush. And on this side of the face, I'll do a beauty blender. So, yeah, because that's what makeup gurus do. And I'm a makeup guru, obviously. So, um, first thing I'm noticing is that this will blend out pretty well. See, like, um, if the camera's picking up. Oh, sorry. Oh, um. First thing I noticed is that, yeah, it blends out very easily. I'm not really having to pull at the skin or tug at it at all, which is always good. Um, it's having a little trouble staying on my nose, like right here. But other than that, it's looking pretty good on this side. So I'll just apply it to this side, come back and tell you guys. Okay, so I applied it and it looks pretty nice on both sides. Um, the only bad thing I have to say about it is that it does not stick to my nose. Oh. Sorry, I put like something in my nose so, like it would stop running. So if that's gross to you, very sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's really not sticking to my nose. So I had to put Maybelline Fit Me in 125 Nude Beige on my nose so it could stick better but other than that i really like this foundation i feel like the primer that i had used before made it look a little more dewy just because it looked kind of matte but it's creamy it blends well hopefully it'll last so yeah i really like this so now we're just gonna go ahead move on to some concealer sorry if i sound like weird because of the nose thing um, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me 
in a light. So we're just gonna put that right under our eyes. And I also like putting some like, on, like I like putting some a little like right here. Just cause like I feel like it makes it like more closed in. Looks really nice. But I don't like putting too much cause like I don't wanna look kinky. So yeah. I just basically put it in the middle of everywhere. And then I wet my beauty blender some more just because it gets dry because I take forever. <laughs> and I'm using the first base primer spray from NYX. Um, it's kind of a dupe of the Smashbox uh, primer water, but like no one ever talks about it. And I'm like, okay, like does no one else realize that that's a dupe? Like just saying, but because I feel like when smashbox came out with the primer water everyone was so shook they were like oh my god like wow this is so new like no it's not next to it like a couple years ago but okay whatever you say guys and i get it like smashbox is a way bigger company so like they'll probably get like more recognition for like a lot more things along with like a lot of other companies like that's just how they roll it's not their fault but it's like you gotta give these drugstore brands some credit because they were like on it way before you guys. Anyways, um, Maybelline's killing it. I love this concealer so much. Like this concealer is my everything. If I could only pick one concealer for the rest of my life, it would be this concealer. Um, I'm just gonna apply some more onto my lids though just because... I always use this concealer as my eye primer, so because like I don't believe in eye primers. I place that so weird, but no, um, I don't believe in them. I just feel like they're a very gimmicky. Cause like, why have an eye primer that like doesn't really do anything? Like, I do use the Benefit Stay Stay Not Stray primer. I think that one's pretty good. It has like a little more of a neutral undertone more than i would like because i like the warm undertone but that one's good but other ones it's like they have like literally like no coverage and i have veins on my eyes and so i need the coverage yeah so sorry if i'm talking a lot um i'm just gonna go off camera and set this with my laura mercy a so i'll be back so now i'm back i'm set well kind of set i'm kind of letting it bake um i'm gonna be using the chanel Soleil Ten de Chanel uh, bronzer. It's a cream bronzer, so I didn't want to set my entire face without applying this first. I'm just gonna apply it to right here because it's where it bronze. And I'm gonna also apply it to my forehead, just on the temple a tad. I do like that whole effect, like going way down the line, and I don't bronze my jawline. Just kind of feel like you want to match to your neck, so why put a darker color right here? It just kind of defeats the purpose to me. I don't mean I don't know about anyone else. Like a lot of people do do that, like a lot of makeup artists do, but like I never saw the purpose in it. So I'm not one of those people, and of course I'm not a makeup artist, so I'm probably doing it wrong, but just doing it how I like it so don't cut at me for it and I'm also just gonna pinch it a little more and put it right under my lip because it makes it seem like I have a bigger lip than what I do because I like that lip filler look obviously <laughs> no I'm just kidding but I like to have big lips it's what makes a look look nice so, okay, now I can set the rest of my face, and sorry if you can hear that, but it's a truck, you little brats. So, I'm just going to set it with the Laura Mercier, and just kind of take this fluffier brush and lightly go over it, because I don't like a whole bunch of powder. It's summer, you don't want a bunch of powder on your face. Um, if I could go without setting my face... I definitely would, but like I can't, so. But I'm just gonna set it as. I feel like you should always set your face though, no matter what, just because it's like you don't want your foundation or something coming off on like your hand if you were to go like 
that, you know? So that's just me, but I also have oily skin, so like I wouldn't know about not setting my face, if that makes sense. But anyways, I always, um, not always, but like if I'm going out, I typically apply bronzer underneath, like a cream one, just so it has like better lasting power, so because in summer you're gonna be sweating a lot it's gonna be hot so you want that like extra barrier to know that even if your powder comes off you'll know that your cream didn't so this is what the base looks like so far um i'm gonna start with the eyes chic in the tardis palette tardiest tardiest pro palette however you want to call it i'm gonna be using a bh cosmetics v5 brush just lightly putting that in my crease it is kind of like a more flesh toned color but i like building up stuff in my crease just because i'm extra and i feel like if you really do take the time to blend all these extra colors that like a lot of people wouldn't use because they don't think it's necessary i feel like it just makes it look a lot more blended and like you took your time on it because you did so yeah Sorry, I don't want to block the camera because I'm obviously a guru, so I have a great setup. Also, a few months back, I did um, a makeup collection video, so I definitely have updated my makeup collection. So if you'd want a new video on that, please let me know. I feel like that'd be really cool to do, so yeah um or if you have any recommendations please tell me i never really post on here anymore because like i don't know what to do videos on like i feel like i'm so uninteresting and boring and like second makeup so i never know like what you guys want to see you know so um still blending i'm now gonna move on though i think so i'm just gonna blend this a little more like up because you want your transition to go up a little further just like whatever you're blending on top it'll be easier to blend out and now i'm gonna be taking the kylie palette um and i'm gonna be taking this shade and mixing in a little of these two but mostly that shade and i'm just gonna put that more in my crease and define the crease a little bit more so i'm gonna be mainly focusing it on the outer and then moving it inner because I'm a makeup artist I definitely know what I'm talking about and it's gonna give more of like a brownie camel kind of color if that makes sense because it's not like peach because I mean this is the royal peach palette but it's not like really a peach color because it's only taking a dab out of the other colors and I'm talking a lot very sorry This one looks a little bit darker than that one, so I'm gonna make this one a little brighter. <laughs> okay. Again, I don't want to bore you guys. That's like another thing. Like I always feel like I'm boring anyone who's watching because like I talk a lot. So maybe I should do an updated Q and A though. That would be cool. I've done already so many of them, but like I, those ones got like a lot of views. So I'm guessing people liked it. Um. I don't know but okay so this looks pretty blended if you ask me so i want to be going back in the tarnas pro <laughs> um my eyes watering but okay and now i'm going to be taking whimsy from that palette and putting that more on the outer edge guru guru well on the outer corner actually and then blending it up because I want this to be a little bit darker than the rest of everything but I will make this darker but I just don't know where I'm going with this yet so yeah um then I'm gonna go other eye I think I might add brown you see it sorry I think I might add brown though just to make it a little more bronzy because I did say that this would be a bronzy tutorial, which I want it to be. I just want it to be, like, 
a little bit rusty too if that makes sense so yeah okay and now i'm gonna be mixing chic and innocent together and just blend that in my crease again to make sure everything's blended out to perfection and i'll be right back to see what color i, I decided that i'm going to be adding ethereal and ethereal ethereal i think i'm gonna be adding this and that's just gonna be my lid shade because i feel like everything else is pretty nice and then i'm i'll probably darken the outer crease if i feel like it and that just ruined my palette oh okay anyways so we're just gonna spray my brush just because why not um, and then we're just gonna put that on the lid and look how blinding that is. Oh, yes. Oh, wait. Yeah, like, look at that. That is pure pigment, guys. I love Tarte Cosmetics. Honestly, like, if there was one brand I had to live off of for the rest of my makeup career. Not career, because, like, I'm not going anywhere, but... Um, if there was, like, one brand I could only use for, like, the rest of my life, I would definitely pick Tarte, because, like, they have good foundation, they have good highlighters, um, good eyeshadows, good lashes, good mascara, like, I own so much of Tarte, and I'm just not realizing it while, like, I'm naming off stuff, like, honestly, I have a lot of Tarte, and I really like them, so, if you don't like Tarte, I think you would look crazy, but well, I don't know. So I decided to apply it all over the lid just because I don't know. Like I felt like that's just the way to go. Um, so I'm adding a little more, and I'm just gonna again apply it all over the lid. I'm stopping where like my actual like crease stops, just so like. I already know it's gonna transfer, but like I don't want it to, so like I'm trying to stop it there instead of it actually get in my crease because that's kind of gross. So, I mean, if you put colors in your crease, like dude, or should more colors in your crease, I should say, then do you? Like, that's totally acceptable. It's just in my makeup rule book, I think that's not like right. Like, I don't want to say it's not right, because, like, people can do whatever they want to, but, like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I just don't think it's, like, the proper way to do makeup, for me, at least. Like, I don't think it looks right or fulfilled, so if that makes any sense to you, thanks. Um, now I'm going to just be taking Edgy and Drama. I'm going to mix those, I think. I've never used either of those colors, but we're just I'm just gonna lightly tap it on the outer corner and then I'll blend it out. Like that. That looks so nice. Wow. So I decided to only take edgy because I don't really want any purple in this look. I didn't think it would I don't think purple would like match with it, so yeah. That is like so pigmented i don't know if you just saw like how easily that went on but holy bejeebies okay so wait now we're gonna be taking the v5 again and we're just gonna blend that out honestly people don't give beach cosmetics enough recognition like oh my god their freaking brushes are so soft if you want cheap brushes that are good and you don't for whatever reason like morphe i would honestly go for bh cosmetics because day's good day's good and like no one ever really talks about them and i'm like why are y'all sleeping on bh mm. oh, okay. okay so that looks pretty blended to me so I'm just gonna go apply some falsies on and I'll be right back. So I put on my lashes. 
These are the these are the D three O ones from Dodo or three or you'll see right there. Um, but these are them. You can use my discount code that will be in the description box below. These are some amazing, amazing uh, lashes, and these are only twelve dollars. But you can get five percent off with my discount code below. So please use it. Um, not sponsored, <laughs> but they're so pretty. So now we're gonna be moving on to bronzer. Sorry, I just like don't want to like, talk up these lashes, or I'll talk up forever. So, um, I'm gonna be using this Zoeva brush. It doesn't have a number or a name, but it's what it looks like. I'm gonna be using my Marc Jacobs, um, Tantastic. Yeah, Tantastic bronzer. This was limited edition. From the coconut collection and oh my god i just love this bronzer it's like the perfect bronze um i don't know if it's still available so if it's not i'm so sorry but i have to use it because like this is like the only bronzer i touch nowadays because like i love my stila one and my clarins one but this one like defeats all of them so like I'm bronze in two seconds. I mean, <laughs> oh yeah, my tongue's blue because I was eating um this, the Warhead Super Sour stuff. Did anyone else eat this as a kid? Because I feel like no one else talks about them or like buys them anymore. And like, I mean, that means more for me. So like, <laughs> right? Okay, now I'm going to be going back in my Laura Mercier. And I'm just going to be taking this G30 from the Gunmetal Collection from Morphe. Um, really defining my contour. Well, this isn't really contour. It's more a bronzer, but, like, I want to be defined. You get me? Yeah. So... I'm gonna just let that sit for a little bit while I put on my blush and hmm I feel like a really like mauvey darky not darky but this is like one of my more muted blushes so I'll be using this this is romantic rose number one from Milani that's what it looks like I'm gonna be taking this Luxie 504 brush and just stippling kind of motions on there and then blending it back just because I feel like if you put it too much on the apple to the cheeks it'll look a little too excessive and what I like about this blush is that it is buildable so um just gonna do the same on this cheek And then this is so weird for me because I always use peach blushes, but I want to start using more pink ones too because I feel like with bronzy looks, pink looks better unless you're doing a warm bronzy, like a warmer, like orangey colors, then peach will look nice. But I think pink looks pretty cute. So, ding! Um, now I'm just going to wipe off this, you can say bank, I guess, with the... G4. Oh, that's another thing. I'm going to start saying the names of the brushes I use in my videos. Because, like, I feel really bad when I don't say them. Like, I feel like you guys want to know. I don't say it, so I'm very sorry. Okay, and now I'm going to be taking this blush brush from Real Techniques. And I'm also going to be going in with Luminoso just because I need peach. Like, I just want it on the apples of my cheeks. So... I always put peach in my look though, so I put it on the apples and I put it a little on the nose just to give like that sunburned effect because it is summer, it's bronzy, you know, that type of thing. And last, I think for like the last step for face is my highlighter. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go see which highlighter I'm using. using. Not the brand new, but new to me. Um, Ofra highlighter from Nikki Tutorials. This is the Everglow highlighter. 
came in the mail today and it is stunning so i want to use it really bad um i'm just gonna mix the two lightest shades but mainly going into this gold shade because bronzy summer that kind of thing so i'm just gonna oh my goodness so this is also my first impressions because i haven't used it yet because it came in the mail today this is the pretty Oh, I gotta cry like Kim K. That is so stunning. And I'm also starting to use more of a fan brush now because I feel like they just work so much better. Like, I feel like they just make my highlight look a lot softer. And this is the So, so Susan brush. I don't know. My mom got it in a monthly description and gave it to me because she's a real MVP. Oh my god, that is so blinding. I love this. I lined my lips with the Chi lip liner from ColourPop. I love this lip liner. It's actually my favorite besides Midnight Cowboy. And now I'm going to be going in with this lip oil. Just like the slightest, slightest bit. Just to make sure I let some moisturize. Before I go in with this lip liquid lipstick. I cannot get over that highlight. Um, and now I'm going to be taking Beeper from ColourPop as well. I think, really, ColourPop just makes my favorite, like, lip items. So, yeah. Sorry if I'm super quiet during this part. I just like, I always mess up on my lips no matter what. So I just try my hardest to not mess up. Yeah. Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, I closed my eyes so you could like see my makeup, but like, can't really see it, so. But um, anyways, this, yeah, this is the final look sorry i keep touching my hair i didn't brush it so like it looks really trashy but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed um it was like a long time since i did a video i was like i really hope you like it um yeah i love you guys so much thank you for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you ever have any suggestions for me for future videos um text me snapchat me dm me comment do whatever you feel like it um other than that thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed bye guys